Have you ever encountered a piece of wood that looked this rough and was cupped that bad? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that cup and make the top of this wood good as new. My name is Zach, and this is a ZD Rhodes Carpentry video. So the board we're working on today is a nine foot long, five quarter by eight piece of pine, which basically means it's a little bit more expensive than a normal piece of wood. Actually a lot more. And I gotta tell you, after searching for a few minutes, after many Google pages, I was not able to find anyone selling this at their store, including Lowe's or Home Depot. So this is a rare piece of wood and it's expensive. Now we're looking at the other side of the board, which also had a cup in it. Unfortunately, I lost the footage of me getting this side flat. This side was actually raised in the middle, and this would be the side that you'd want to start with. I was able to recover a picture of the other side. It had paint on it, and basically you're just going to take the wood out of the middle until you get it flat. This is what that side looks like now. So you're going to clamp it down so that it's sturdy and I'm actually going to use a biscuit joiner to do this uh, the way you should do this and you can easily accomplish it the same way I'm doing it here uh, is with a table saw so the idea here is that once you have established a flat surface on one side of the board you're then able to easily transfer that over to the other side with a table saw Table saw or biscuit joiner, what you should end up with is a side of the board that has two edges cut out equally and it will look something like this. And you just want to check to make sure your edges and the center of the board there are all the same size the whole way around. And once you're confident that you have the same edges the whole way around your board, you're going to get set up to do the next part of the process, which is pretty self-explanatory. But you're going to sand out all the meat in the center of the board that connects the two cut flat surfaces that you just made. And after you're done with your first pass, check with a framing square to see how flat you got the board. And go back and sand out high spots as needed. When you're doing something like this, you want to use the grittiest sandpaper you can get on your sander. And I'm using 40 grit sandpaper on my orbital sander here. Now look, don't be fooled by the high speed footage. This process takes longer than five minutes. Although it is a time consuming process, I feel it is well worth spending the time on saving a piece of wood like this, not just for cost, but because wood is a precious resource that needs to be respected. I'm happy with the way it looks. It's not perfect, but that's fine. If it were a perfect world, I wouldn't have to work. we are make YouTube videos, so we're just gonna Call this good, and um, I'm going to show you what I'm talking about here. Give me a sec. Okay. Hey. All right. Take a look. That is mighty fine. That's what we want. Nice and flat. It's not perfect, but the cup is totally gone. Now we're going to use a router and uh, just ease the edges on the board. So here is the finished, resurrected, five quarter board pine. So, why did I go to all the effort to fix this piece of wood? Well, it's actually a part of another project that's right behind me. It's my entertainment center I've been working on for a while now, and I am so excited to get this piece of wood on top of it. It's actually this shelf 
for my entertainment center. So in the next video, I'm gonna go over how to do that and we're gonna do some fancy cutting on the back of this so that it fits nice and tight against the wall and I'm really excited to show you how to do that and I'm looking forward to doing more videos. That being said, thanks for watching this week's episode of ZD Rose Carpentry Videos. And remember, from forest to finishes, if it's made of wood, we show you how to do it on this channel. Thank you. Have a great week. Bye.